I think the shifting probability is this ends up being a full bubble. That's Something right. like 2013, you even get that double pump, which is the hardest thing in the world to trade, right? You think it's over because it's done a massive move. It corrects 50% and then rockets up. I don't know what it did, another 10x or something stupid in, in 2017. It, these markets are tricky. They're very tricky to deal with looking for tops. One thing I do know is... Hey guys, welcome back to Everyday Finance. In this video, Raul Pal discusses the crypto and Bitcoin. According to Raul Pal, Raul Pal can't believe the incredible opportunity we've been presented with. It's remarkable how simply purchasing Bitcoin at a significant discount and holding onto it can result in substantial gains. It's as if every four years, without fail, it's absolutely mind-boggling that we've been given this. It's as simple as the morons trade, it's the easiest thing in the world. Raul Pal has been giving this a lot of thought, and it seems to be a recurring pattern that leans in one direction, which means it'll be concise and to the point. Raul Pal doesn't. Is there any explanation for why this entire liquidity cycle has shifted? It seems like the governments are no longer altering the debt maturity. It appears that there is no noticeable progress. Therefore, based on the analysis, it appears that there is a high likelihood of this situation turning into a complete bubble, similar to what happened in 2013. After experiencing a significant surge, the double pump can be quite challenging to navigate in the trading world. Just when you believe it's finally over, it corrects by 50% and what's causing the sudden surge? Managed to increase by another 10 times or something ridiculous. 2017 these markets can be quite challenging. They can be quite challenging to handle when searching for the best options. One thing Raul Pal knows is that people, it's quite puzzling how Coinbase has managed to secure the top spot in the App Store. There have been 110 million accounts set up, indicating a significant number of active users. You should consider using a platform like Coinbase. Take a look at the quarterly statement and observe the number of active accounts. It appears that at the low point, they decrease to approximately 9 million. If we reach 50 million active accounts, we can revisit this discussion and assess the situation. At that point, we can determine if things are starting to look a bit overheated and lots of things Raul Pal discussed. So please watch the video to end and like, share this video and subscribe our channel Everyday Finance. Thanks. Yes, I just want to go back on that one sec. I cannot believe that we've been given this opportunity. I mean, basically, all you have to do is Bitcoin down 80%, hold it, and it goes up 10x. I mean, it's like every four years, like clockwork. I mean, it's bananas that we've been given this. It's like the, the morons trade. It's the easiest thing in the world. I've been thinking through this a lot and seeing this. It's a left translated cycle, which is a fancy term for saying it's going to be short and sweet. Um, I don't see any reason why that should be the case, why this whole liquidity cycle has changed. I mean, the governments aren't changing the debt maturity. Nothing seems to be changing. Therefore, I think the shifting probability is this ends up being a full bubble. That's Something right. like 2013, you even get that double pump, which is the hardest thing in the world to trade, right? You think it's over because it's done a massive move. It corrects 50% and then rockets up. I don't know what it did, another 10x or something stupid in, in 2017. It, these markets are tricky. They're very tricky to deal with looking for tops. One thing I do know is, is people talk about, you know, uh, Coinbase being number one in the App Store. That doesn't make sense because they've already got 110 million accounts set up. It's the number of active accounts. I think you have to go to the Coinbase kind of quarterly statement and just see how many active accounts because at the low i think they got down to about 9 million out of 110 you know let's talk again when we're at 50 million active accounts and then we can say you know it's probably pretty frothy you've now got confidence to take more risk because the main assets going up so i mean look bitcoin goes up whatever let's say it's gone up a hundred percent over the last no what i don't know let's say in the last 90 days let's say it's gone up a hundred percent i don't know what the exact number is well, dog whiff hat has gone up 1,600%. There is the risk curve writ large. <laughs> That's right. And it's creating wealth that you can sell some of your Bitcoin to buy something a little more speculative. 
So you start seeing the shift. You're seeing it in ETH, right? There's quite a lot of people shifting out of ETH into Sol or into meme coins to get a bit of extra juice. So that's just the risk curve working because the risk curve is basically I want to take more risk and get higher returns and therefore I'll sell some of my um, less racy assets to buy racier assets. Yeah, and also don't forget Solana's gone up a lot with the massive selling of the FTX estate. Now I know that both Pantera and Brevin Howard set up SPVs, special purpose vehicles to buy this stuff. I haven't heard the progress, but the way Solana seems to be trading now, it feels that you know you're at the tail end of that. And most of the supply has been taken off the market, uh, which allows it yeah, to run quickly. Getting... And if you look at Solana as well, of the top ten most active traded tokens, eight of them are on Solana. <laughs> because of the meme coin craze. According to Raul Paul, now you have the confidence to embrace more risk considering the upward trajectory of the main assets. Just take a look at Bitcoin. It's on the rise. Suppose it has increased by 100% in the past, let's say 90 days. Increased by 100%. Raul Paul, not sure of the precise figure, but there has been an increase in the value of the well dog with hat. The risk curve is quite large, with a potential for a 1,600% return. This presents an opportunity to generate significant wealth that can be liquidated. Using some of your Bitcoin to purchase something a bit more speculative, you begin to observe the shift happening in, it seems that many individuals are currently transitioning from ETH to SOL or meme coins in order to gain some additional momentum. So that's just the risk curve at play as it represents the desire to take on more risk in order to potentially achieve higher returns. Based on Raoul Pal's analysis, it seems prudent to adjust his portfolio by selling some of his less profitable assets in order to acquire assets with higher potential returns. Let's back to the Raoul Pal interview. Like NFTs did for ETH, right? They onboarded yeah. millions of people to ETH. But this is, you know, the meme coin thing is not surprising and it follows a narrative. I did a film, it's on Netflix if anybody wants to look at it, called The New Americans Gaming a Revolution. And basically, it's about this whole thing. It started kind of with Occupy Wall Street and everybody thinking, well, what now? It morphs itself into GameStop, then the crypto craze, and now it's just gone straight into meme coins, which is like, nobody's even, even my Twitter... Pinned tweet is about this. It's like they don't want to play your game anymore. People are playing their own game and they know it's stupid. They know that these things have no intrinsic value apart from culture and culture is fleeting. Yet they're going to do it and they're going to make fortunes. Yeah, but you will, it. but you will sell your dog with hat, right? You're not going to uh, think that you're raging against the machine into eternity if that goes to zero to make a point, right? And I, I, I watched Dumb Money. The GameStop movie, and I cringed every time I heard, you know, these people say, well, we ain't selling, I ain't selling. I don't know if anyone saw the movie, but it was pretty good. If you want to rage against the machine, buy Bitcoin. You yeah, know, if you want to rage against I, the I system, buy Bitcoin. Uh, if you want to build a new system, buy Ethereum and Solana. Um, if you want to poke your finger in the eye of, <clears throat> of tradition, buy meme coins. It's kind of that they're, they're very different things. Uh, well, I'm actually on the SUI Foundation, so right. I've got a whole bunch of SUI, and th that's a great project. Let's see how they do, because, you know, they've, it's still to prove how much they can build and what they can build, but that looks very encouraging. So, you know, I'm in that for the long haul as well, uh, and, you know, very interested to see the journey of a layer one, a new layer one, uh, with some great tech. But other than that, yeah, those are the ones I'm I'm happy to just hold. Um, other anything else, I'm just renting, basically. How I, I want an update on this. How many times? I'll, I'll start with a week, but I think it's a day. Are you checking your portfolio? I'm not going to admit this, but all the time. <laughs> I'm literally. It's literally. It's 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 become a part of my uh, workflow. <laughs> open stupid, Twitter, right? open I mean, Telegram, open WhatsApp, open, and, and it has. And that's a that's a great. It's a signal of where we're at. It is because I used to be a once a day or maybe. Yeah, I'm still probably a, a once a day on my main main holdings, but on the stupid stuff that I've got, I'm more frequent. I don't know why it's it's not even that meaningful. 
but it's just because it's the adrenaline, you're in the game, and it helps you with the patience game because the other stuff, you can't do anything. You just have to sit there, but you want to feel like you're involved. So I'm checking the price of my guac and the price of my bonk and the price of my whiff and doge like like 10 times a day it's just stupid well, you kind of need fun. to know I'll according to raul Powell, furthermore it's worth noting that solano has experienced a significant increase due to the extensive sale of the ftx estate it's important to consider that both panta and bravan howard established spvs special purpose vehicles to acquire this merchandise Raul Pal hasn't received any updates, but the manner in which it appears that Solana is currently being traded, and it seems that you have a good understanding of the situation. It seems that we are nearing the end of this trading period, with most of the supply already accounted for and removed from the market, which enables an examination of Solana as well. Here are the top 10 tokens with the highest trading activity. Eight of them have chosen Solana due to the influence of Mcoin C. Wow, it's absolutely mind-boggling. If you learn something from this video, then please like this video and subscribe our channel, Everyday Finance, and we will meet in next video. Thanks.